Hello, everybody, and we're back with more Earthbound and lag. It's not that laggy. It is on my side. Oh. Just well. a little bit. It's not that much. <clears throat> you should fight those. I don't know. They're slugs. I think. Yeah, it might be ants. It's poop. Not a good start for today. <laughs> nah. I mean, we one shot that. Are you kidding me? The pros. The pros of this. They should. Pecky! Yeah. We're like, we're like professional gamers. Don't need me. Can't touch So, well, how's the air up there in Canada? Great. Yeah? How's your eagles? Oh, wait! We yeah. know, because we gave them to you. And I love mm -hmm. them. Oh. How's your Canadian bacon? Oh, wait, it's not real Canadian bacon. Yeah, because we got American Canadian bacon, which is but Oh my god, you're just- look at that. See, look, you're killing ants in one hit. That's how awesome, that's how awesome we are. We're just killing, we're killing bugs in one hit. Stepping on them. Take that, mofos. Squish. Yeah. I feel pro now. <laughs> I know, it's cause we are. It's gonna be even better when you beat the boss. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna grind to like level 13 here. <laughs> you move like, you move like an inch. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is gonna be so easy. You're just gonna use like PSI Fappin three times and then you're gonna win. That's it. Falcon! Punch! <laughs> Punch! Yes! So tasty. That, that snake. What? <laughs> what, tasty? Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, here's the first, uh, Sanctuary boss, KD, since you're going to be battling him, do you want to tell us a little bit about him? Um, let me see, okay. This guy's a jerk, you want to get rid of the back row first, I know that for a fact. Because he's a jerk and he likes all like, herp a derp, let's scrape you from behind. Okay, oh. behind him there's an, a, another one, so you won't be able to see that, and I did not mean to bash. So, just use fapping. I mean, <laughs> rocking. Use your PSI fapping. This guy, he just, he can't take us. He can't take our fap. He can't take our fap. It's just too powerful. Just yeah, strong. he loves to make our defense go down. Yeah. So, uh, that way, when he hits you, it's going to be pretty heavy hit. Pretty heavy hitting. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, you don't have any uh, PP restored items right now, so... Just check him. Yeah, he uses PSI Magnet, which drains your PP if you don't use all of your fappings uh, the first time. Nice. Yeah, so we finish him with a smash, and that's, that's game. Bye-bye, Titanic Ant. Oh, baby. <laughs> and we love him. Oh, awesome. So, that's it. I'm just gonna get the, the, st the step, and then yep. we should switch controls. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I always love this part of the game. Stop. Me too. It's such a powerful part of the game. I know. The, the, like, the, all the steps and everything. Kevin caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy and named him Mike because Mike is a small, cute puppy. <laughs> okay. Kevin Sandstone recorded a melody of the giant step because he's <sighs> cool like that. Damn right, dude. I got a stone that records sounds. What do you got? Okay, let's switch controls then. Your turn. All right, so now I'm under control, and mm -hmm. uh, just in case you guys didn't notice, uh, anytime we switch controls, um, hopefully the uh, well, not hopefully what will happen is the watermark at the bottom of the screen will change basically mm -hmm. from the different ones. Uh, while Katie's in control, she'll have her watermark. While I'm control, I'll have mine. Now, Mine's in the bottom right. His is, his will be in the bottom left. Uh, yeah, if I can change it. If not, then there'll be this. No, I'll do it for you. Okay, all right. Thanks for holding my hand, Katie. No problem. Whack. Yeah. So now, as you can see, after we beat a sanctuary boss, um, everything in the uh, place around the sanctuary, all of its uh, cohorts, uh, run away from you. Uh, so it's really easy to the to then grind on levels 
uh, after that. So yeah. Also, after you reach your sanctuary step, it fully heals you and everyone else in your party. So uh, yeah, also, don't be worried no. about that. Huh? When when you get to the point, if people play this game already, like if they already had, don't uh, think that when you beat uh, the, the dude with the foppies, don't think that the foppies will stay. I learned that from mistake. <laughs> Uh, basically, what she's saying is, um, <clears throat> when you get to the sewer part of the game, uh, there's this boss that you beat there, uh, the sanctuary boss. Um, is it the sanctuary boss, or is it the big slime? Slime boss thing. Yeah, it's a slime boss. Um, so it's a little bit spoilish, so if you don't want to listen, you don't have to. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> basically, the gist of it is, um, once you defeat him, all the enemies in the in the sewer area disappear, including one of the best enemies to grind on in the game. So uh, make sure you grind first and then proceed to fight the boss. But uh, that's usually how most people do it anyway. Well, I was trying to be smart about it and then it backfired. <laughs> so anyway, um, instead of actually proceeding through this cave, I'm going to actually take a break now to uh, progress to, uh, to progress my level to 13 or 14, maybe even 15. Uh, that might be a little bit overkill, but uh, we'll see you around then. So, uh, yeah, Poof. so uh, we'll be back. Poof. Right. And we're back. All right. So uh, let's take a look at our setup here. I reached level 14, as you can see. I have a substantial amount of hit points and psychic points now. And, uh, and 6669 experience points. Let's just ignore that. Anyway, as for mm -hmm. my uh, uh, PSI moves, I learned PSI shield and PSI paralysis. Um, each one respectively at level uh, 12 and the other one was at 14 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you also I, learned healing? Yeah, and I also learned healing at uh, 13 I think. So uh, yeah, that one is uh, cures cold, sunstroke, or sleep conditions. So that one's actually really good. So that means that cold remedy that we have in our inventory we are going to go sell for 11 bucks. So yeah. Yeah, so I mean, uh, the best thing to grind on here is still um, the uh, slugs, but uh, sometimes they don't appear. So just basically, just go for anything at this point. It's pretty easy. You can pretty much uh, one shot anything with your uh, attack. So anyway, as after you uh, grind up here a little bit, you know, be ready because when you exit out here, as you can see, you're gonna be greeted by this uh, police officer, and uh, I can't read. Okay, thanks for being so insensitive, jerk. Pretty much the police force, they're all like, well, herp to herp, here's a really ignorant kid, we're gonna beat him up, because we know karate, I mean, hi. Yeah, yeah, so uh, basically what she said is, uh, it's gonna happen. So anyway, if you talk to this guy out here, he gives you a trinket. What? Yes. I didn't know you could do that. Yes, he gives you, uh, he gives you an item, but, uh, I have too much crap in my Eat the inventory. cookie. That's what I'm gonna do. My HP are maxed out. Yeah, so he gives us tr a travel charm. Uh, now, I'm not sure if... Oh, God, get out of my way. <laughs> now, anyway, I'm not sure if that's better oops, If that's better than the cheap bracelet. I'm pretty sure... I thought it was body. Yeah. I don't remember what that does, um, so let's go take a look. Travel charm. Oh. Travel charm. Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks. So that's what the travel charm does, just in case anyone was wondering. It doesn't actually have any defense. Uh, but uh, it's better than nothing, so uh, we'll go with that. Mr. Mole? Yes. Yeah, it's that mole from uh, Farm... Wait, no. What's the name of that game with all the little chibi people? Animalville, whatever? Animal Village? Farmville? No, that's on... Uh, that's on... What's it called? That's on Facebook. It's, this is a game for like... Animal Crossing? Yeah, it's the mole from Animal Crossing. I can't believe it. I remember that. Rossetti? Yeah. And we're gonna sell the bread roll. So that's cheap. Oops, I didn't want to buy anything from you. No, I don't. Ugh. Guy, what the hell is going on? Well, it's your dad. You've been out there. I know. Working quite hard. Yes. I will call you and just do Anyway. No, I don't. Ugh. Damn it. Yes, I need something for you. I need to sell to you because you need to give me money, sir. This is a stick up. Yes, buy that off me. Yes, let's take a look here. Is there anything? Um, I don't actually think I need anything right now. 
from you, good sir. Let's give our dear papa and mama a call. Yeah, oh wow, that's a lot of money. So yeah, from grinding all that, we got we, we got two thousand dollars. Well, leave the money in your bank because we die. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, by the way, just in case, if you die in this game, you lose half of your current uh, money that you're holding. You don't lose any experience or anything. So, uh, yeah. And you lose your PS, your, yeah, your, your Oh, PS. yes. You lose every single point of uh, psychic power that you have at the time. Anyway, so we have to call our mom at this point because if we do, uh, we learn that our sister has a job as basically being extra storage space for us if we need to have her hold any items. Uh, now, this will come in handy later, uh, mostly because, uh, well, we're going to pick up some items that are important, but we won't need them after certain points in the game, uh, as everyone usually learns from most RPGs about <laughs> Pokemon. So, yes. Oh, fire truck, or whatever the hell the thing is called. Uh, and let's see, now before I head into the police station, I actually want to come in here into this bakery, and I want to fill up on... This guy will come over here. Lady? God, I don't, I don't care, lady. I just want you to move. Or, oh my God, stop talking to me. Which pedophile? Just, you know what? Can I go back here? No. Shh, sh guy, come here and talk to me. Yes. <laughs> I want some. Well, well, poop. I thought, I thought the bakery would have better stuff. I guess not. Well, whatever. Okay, you know what? Ignore me. Ignore me. That was a complete waste of time. Well, anyway, we go to the police station. We have plenty of hamburgers. And, uh, yes, so here's the, uh, guy that was all like, uh, you know... I know karate, screw you. Yeah, he was, he was, he, he's basically just bitching at us, so, uh, yeah, he's telling us about how we, uh, don't listen, and how we're a hoodlum, and this and that. You know, tax evaders, blah, blah, blah. You know, you just, you re you just re-talk to him. Yeah, I realize that. Well, he said something different the second time. So, uh, yeah, here's the, uh... <clears throat> actual person we need yeah, to talk to. Yeah, you can just keep going. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, it's funny, because he tells us we should be inside playing Nintendo, which is what we're actually doing, breaking the fourth wall, I see, huh? Yeah. Actually, we're not, we're playing this on an emulator. Well, when, when he says you should be inside playing the Nintendo, that's breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, I know. So anyway, yeah! Yeah, we have to fight karate officer policeman. I know karate. Yeah, pretty much. So these guys are actually pretty tough. Um, I want to save my PSI for when I have to fight the, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The captain? Because he's the toughest of them all. Really, he is. You're to uh, toys. Tough. Yeah. He's very, very tough. Yeah, these cops, I mean, they, they can get in some pretty good hits on you like that right there. I love how they're karate cops. That's amazing. Yeah, but uh, they're not anything to worry about if you uh, leveled up to uh, the appropriate levels I have. That's awesome. Anyway, so each one says something, you know, that's mildly interesting, but not that big a deal. So anyway, after I hit this guy once, I actually want to consume one of my hamburgers. Yeah, it's kind of really cocky if you think about it, We're just eating a hamburger in front of a paddle. Yeah. Well, it's earthbound, who cares? <laughs> what do you leave? Oh, he left a hamburger! <laughs> Nothing was wasted! Yes, that's awesome. It was a freebie. Like Super Mario RPG. Oh, he's gonna tear us apart. That sounds... dirty. Alright, mint-flavored... thing. Shit. Yeah, so the crushing chop is what you mostly have to watch out for. And I'm probably gonna have to eat two hamburgers in the next fight. I bet you ending one. Well, we'll see. It only heals for like 50. Oh! He just skips right to the boss. This is... Yeah, not... That's good. That's a not swinging, yeah. So that's like a normal move for him. So yeah, he's not a karate. Um, he's like a wrestler. Let me heal. Let me let that heal up all the way before I continue. If I run out hamburgers, I'm just gonna have to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah so while uh, he raises his offense by one, which is pathetically nothing, um, you know, we're gonna take that time to heal up and PSI fapping in his face. It only no, took we two. just killed him. Yeah, well, we're that awesome. The first sanctuary boss is harder than him. 
So uh, yeah, I didn't think he would do so well against the mighty Onnit police force. Not one at. It is one at or Onnit. No, it's not. Tucson. It's Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna head to Tucson now.